It's no secret the Garmin Vector 3 power meter pedals had a troubled start to life and most of those troubles were around the battery cap or the battery housing with the two batteries inside there rattling around a bit and causing a few issues. Now Garmin have issued replacement caps for anybody with earlier versions of the pedals and the newer versions of the pedals come with the replacement caps with the redesigned internals. So things have been pretty smooth sailing with my replacement Vector 3 pedals. Well, they replaced them for another reason, but the replacement pedals with the new battery housing have been pretty good. Now, these have been on the shelf for a while. I pulled them off the shelf last week to test another power crank and uh, I got that dreaded power meter battery low warning on the head unit. So it was time to replace these batteries. Now the Garmin Vector 3 takes two batteries per pedal, so four batteries all up, and it takes the LR44 or SR44 batteries. So two 1.5 volt batteries adding up to three volts. However, there is an alternative for that. And a lot of people on forums are saying the CR1 slash 3N battery, as you can see here, is a better alternative. Now a few quick notes on the CR1 slash 3N battery before we get started. First of all, using the CR1 battery may void warranty because it's not officially listed as a supported battery. So if you're gonna be sending your pedals back to Garmin for replacement, repair or review, just take those batteries out first, mum's the word. Secondly, just for a sanity check on the batteries, the cell batteries in series add voltage but maintain capacity. So two 1.5 volt batteries that are in here at the moment add up to three volts, obviously, and the CR1-3N is a three volt battery. It's good to go. Now the CR1 capacity is 160 milliamp hours and an LR44 and SR44, depending on which one you go and which brand you go with, are around 175. So you do get a slight drop in battery life but that's a small price to pay if you're gonna get a little bit better reliability, no spikes, no data jumps, no dropouts. You should be good to go with these batteries. Speaking of price to pay, the CR1-3N is a little bit more expensive, about twice the price of the LR44, SR44 version batteries. But again, small price to pay and only a small change if your data is now good, clean and working. Okay, that's the background. Let's get these things open. Let's get these batteries replaced and let's hopefully have happy days. Okay, two individually packaged CR1-3Ns, which is a little bit overkill for the batteries themselves, but let's get these out and installed. Four mil hex wrench is all we need on the edge of the Vector 3s. Now it's much easier to install these batteries with the pedals off the bike so you don't have to lean the bike on the side and you'll see why in just a moment the batteries just fall out like that. So with the single battery I'm hoping it's going to be a lot easier to install batteries or the battery with the pedals on the bike. Okay here's the caps, they're the replaced caps from the version 1 of the Vector 3s. Version two, anyhow, you know what I'm saying. Battery goes straight in, no messing about. The cap goes back on, being very careful not to cross thread or strip the thread on that. And just snugging it up just gently, not too much at all. One down, and next one in play. Again, those batteries just falling straight out. It, yeah. The one battery, I'm happy for one battery to fall out, but two, they just roll it in here. Problem solved, one battery each pedal. Again, snugging this back in, not cross-threading. Just gently snugging that up. Okay, we are good. Give it a bit of a spin. You can see the light there flashing. Happy days, and light there on this one. I think it's already done, it's flashing, so we shall pull out the mobile phone and have a look to make sure these things are alive. Okay. Now, pulling out the mobile phone for probably what's gonna be the quickest, oh, hang on, Bluetooth is now on. Okay. What's probably gonna be the quickest check you've ever seen done here on the channel? You're scrolling down to devices, we already connected to the Vector 3s, into device settings, firmware's up to date, battery status is good, all good, uh, cycling dynamics is turned off, let's flick that on, 
and we have everything else there in play. That's really about it. We are done. Yep, good to go. Okay, time to get these back on the bike. Okay, there we go, job done in under three minutes and quite easy to do on the bike. Much easier than getting those two batteries lined up in the bike, that was a bit of a pain, but that one battery straight in, good to go, happy days. Do shop around for those batteries if you're gonna be using those. If you are a Vector3 user and you are using those batteries, let me know how your experience has gone below because a lot of people say it's the way to go. Just watch that warranty. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.